What's up? What's hold on, y'all? <laughs> Trying to extend his phone up. Boom, there we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? You already know. This is speech. Come on. This is speech. One more time. This is speech. You got it. I'm going to try to wait until people get on here. But y'all know, I don't like to have a live video where I'm just sitting up for a couple minutes not saying nothing. Make sure as soon as you get on my video, you go ahead and hit it like you like. Hit it like you like. Hit it like you like. For your girl. Go like, 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 like. Let's go. Like, 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 like. Some more. Go like, 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 like. Ooh, it's 53 of y'all on here and I got 20 like it likes. Ooh, 70. Come on, come on. We're going we gonna to start this video off right. We're going to start this video off right. Hit a couple like, a uh, likey likes. We're going to start this video off right. Hit a like, hit a like, hit a like, like, like. Hey, y'all. I got on my waist trainer. <sighs> I got on my waist trainer. Oh, let me go get one so I can like really show y'all. I forgot to grab one. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, 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 go ahead, be your back, yeah, I'm back, um, you need one of these, shop www.waste, W-A-I-S-T, so, S-O, gorgeous, G-O-R, G E O U S dot com, waist so gorgeous dot com to purchase. Oh, it's true. Y'all know I'm a big girl, mama. But look, Ooh, you see the way. Look, I want you right now at home. Put your arms straight down. If your um, if your arms touching your stomach, <laughs> you need one of these. You need one of these. You 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 need one of these. And yes, and yes, and yes, I could breathe. And yes, and yes, and yes, I could breathe. Now y'all gotta keep in mind, when I do too much, I can't breathe. Anyways, without the waist trainer, drop the link. How you do that? I could type on here. <sighs> I'm tired. <sighs> I'm tired. But get what? Get what? Get what? Get what? We got these and big girl mama size. We got these and big girl mama size. We got these right here. These right here. We got these and big girl mama size. Go ahead. Shop www.waysogorgeous.com. Okay. So what I'm wearing is the So Gorgeous Still Bone Corset. Formerly known as the Speech. Well, not formally. Still known as the Speech for Still Bone Corset. By waist language. How this corset look? This is the extra small. I bought an extra small in the 6XL in the room so I can show y'all. And we do have these in stock. A couple of y'all ordered yesterday and your orders are going out today. And today is Thursday so you should get your order hopefully Saturday but UPS might be backed up so definitely by Monday. Thank you all for all of you who have already started purchasing. But um, with this product this is an extra small that I'm holding. So it's like dang that small. It's extra small. And yes, skinny girls should waist train too because, you know, you have like a square shape if you want to look like more curvaceous, you know, want to, you know, have you a little curve in your waist. Then you want to get you a waist trainer, okay? Hey, Peach813 in the house. Hey, Miss Diaz. All right, Tampa, show out there. I see Ramon in here too, show out, Tampa. But it has 24 metal steel bonings in it. So this is what this is. It's still bone. It's 24 and these. I highly recommend this. Only thing is if you got a long torso, you may want to get a, a corset that is more low, long torso. I know a couple people was like, oh, you changing already. She got a waist trainer. She just changed. I have a waist training company that I used to do real, real good before I quit it, right? It's called this, okay? These are our labels. Um, what I was gonna say, I own trademarks. 
I own a patent. I own a bunch of copyrights. I used to do this full time before I fell into depression. And I quit. And I just felt like I could not touch that business again. It was just painful, mentally painful. And I just don't want to fuck it up, right? So, Way So Gorgeous was born. And I still wasn't ready mentally to do that. But now, I feel like I'm finally in a happy place in my life where work, where I can balance work and life. I'm not depressed anymore. Um, all my credit repair kits have been getting sent out in a timely fashion. If you purchase a do-it-yourself credit repair kit and you haven't gotten it, please message me on either Instagram or Facebook or that's the only two ways you can message me. Because you can't message me on YouTube. So message me. But for the most part, I've sent them all out. I had a couple people like, hey, you didn't send mine. And they didn't send an email. If you didn't send an email, typically we refund you as soon as we see that you sent in a payment without your email address. I do have sub email as well. Y'all know this is my, my office. This is my office. My baby room is my office. Um, but I have five packages open. But let me show you how the difference because we carry this product. Currently, we're only selling in stock um corsets this this product only this product and that's currently in stock we're selling for 25 dollars. okay that's the really really good price for a waist trainer especially a steel bone corset now we have it in stock an extra small small um 3xl 4xl 5xl and 6xl i am sold out of medium large extra large and i only got a couple to it and don't order by your shirt size. What you want to do is, dang, I should have brought my measuring tape. What you want to do is you want to measure your waistline where it curves. Naturally, all of our waistlines get sm smaller at a certain area. So that area where it actually curves, that's what you want to measure. Now, the back of your waist trainer will look like open in the back like this. See how it's open my back panel? That's good. If you have a waist training corset on and the back looks open, that is a really good thing because when you're waist training, you want it to be open so that you can um, shrink into that size. The more you wear it, the tighter it'll pull, the smaller your waistline will get. And then eventually it'll close all the way. And when that happens, you need to go down two sizes. Put it out in the atmosphere. Meant to say, I don't know what you said. What did you want to know, Miss Tico? But we're going to open peach meal and all that good stuff. I'm in a really, really good mood. I wanted to come talk to y'all about depression. Ooh, that lighting was better right here. We're going to stay right here. It looked better right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right. Oh, I'm uploading so many videos, y'all. My life is a hot mess. It's a good hot mess, though. It's a good hot mess. So my kids are back in school. And it took me a minute because we just was out of school for five months. And just getting back into the flow of things. They've only been in school for going on three weeks. This makes the third week. And baby, it's been a roller coaster ride. Just like trying to get up in the morning, trying to get to school on time. It's been a mess, honey. I would like to send you a shirt. What size do you wear? It depends. If the shirt is like a regular shirt, I would say uh extra large. If it's like scratchy, a large. If it's not no kind of scratch, a one X. Cause she's a big girl, mama, mama, mama. My brother say, I ain't, ain't, ain't a house. I'm a block. I'm a block. I'm a big old block. Ooh, I'm a block party, baby. I'm a block party, baby. That's why my baby daddy, he be going so crazy. I'm a block. Ooh, I lift my leg up off camera. I'm a block. Um, but so all my kids have been like gone and I have a lot of time to work. I'm finally in a place where I'm not depressed. I'm very happy. I'm knocking out my goals left and right. I see the haters, but I don't pay them no attention because they don't pay me. No pay, no pay souls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harlem Shake on them hoes. Y'all know how to Harlem Shake? I'm the Harlem Shake queen. Hold on. Let me see if I still got it. Let me see if I still got it. Shout out to Spouses Selling Houses that bought me this nice tripod. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Go, go, go. Oh, you still can't see me. Hold on. My son gaming chance stuff in the way and stuff. Ooh, I might end up putting my backdrop up. But y'all, with the kids going back to school, it was a really big adjustment. Shall we gonna have them shake on camera? Whatever, girl. It's too far back from the light. In the light, in the light, in the light. Pete might look good in the light. I'm in the front, never in the back. Got your man on me, wanna eat it all night. Ooh, in the light, in the light. Okay. 
Calm down, girl. You acting all project. And yes, I stood out on my waist stream. Doing the most. Doing the most. Ow. Yo, body. Yo, body. Yo, body is so sexy. Yo, body is so sexy. That's why he want to sex me. I'm, se I'm sexy. Okay. Let me tell you a secret. Once you get good at waist training, you can keep it on during sex. And it made everything all extra tight and juicy. Okay? So, if you if you want a waist trainer, that's one of the benefits now. Caution, caution. Waist trainer might get you pregnant. People are like, don't get no waist trainer. You ain't going to be able to have kids. Baby, listen. I done had three kids since I started waist training. Now, I'm not an everyday waist trainer. I might become one. For the sake of the business. Oh, I got a super chat from Miss Denise. She said, hey, Peach from your Houston, Texas. Peach, Patch, what's up, Miss Denise? Thank you so much for the super chat. You ain't have to do it. But when you do it, I love it. I love it when you do it. Come on, get into it. Oh, I love it when you do it. You do it. You do it. You, you. Okay. Peaches. Peaches, calm down, girl. You is too big for all that moving, baby. Too big. Too, it's too big. It's too wide. It's too strong. It won't fit. It's too much. Got a big ego. Eat. See, I feel sexy. See, when you put on your when you put on your waist training clothes, got a big ego. Such a huge ego. Ooh, I love this big ego. It's too much. <laughs> Another super chat. Say, I love you and your family. I watch all your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, S. C-I-P-27. I was going to try to make it a word, but I don't know what the word was, so I couldn't. But I'm so happy because I bought me some drink up here, y'all. Because I knew, Peaches, you be doing too much. You was going to need a little sippy sip. Shout out to the Peach Patch for buying me these cups. Yes, I be using everything y'all send me. Listen. Ooh, that was, that was lovely. One more time, one more time. Get your sippy sip on, sis. Everybody at home, at work, with them badass kids that you need to send back to school if you can. I want you to get you a drink. Take you a little sippy sip. Because I already know we probably finna be up here in the hill dancing and stuff. Peach is super happy today. I love it. I am. I'm so happy. I just, it's God. I was up this morning editing the videos and I just was crying because God has been so good to me. And I'm not talking about just in a financial aspect. God has restored my mind. I feel like your mind is the most important part of your body. Your mind is the most important part of your health. Because if you ain't got no same mind, you'll fall into depression. You'll fall into peer pressure. You'll be around here miserable, neglecting your kids, neglecting yourself, wanting to kill yourself. Just your mind. like Just for a sane mind, I'm just so grateful. When your mind is sane and you can focus and you know how to tune out negativity, you can go so far in life. And this morning, I was just crying. I was just like, I cannot believe that God decided to smile on me. I'm about to cry just thinking about it because I'm so undeserving. Y'all don't understand. I've done so many Things in my life that were wrong. So many things in my life that I'm not proud of. Yet and still, God chose to smile on me. That's called his grace. He still chose to smile on me. And when I was thinking about that this morning, I just like broke down crying. I was like, I just can't believe that. Like, God, you really smiling on me. You showing that to me, y'all? You showing that? And I just, I want to thank God. And I just want to let y'all know that too. Like, if you depressed right now, and I just got an order. Thank you so much for shopping www.waysogorgeous, www.waysogorgeous. I got an order, y'all. Thank you. And your order will ship out today. Any order I receive today before, what time? Before um 5 o'clock, I'm going to ship out today. Our USPS doesn't close to 10 at the airport, so I'm going to go out to the airport and ship them. And then I'll be home in time, then I'll be ready and all that. But y'all just don't understand. Like, when you look at me, people be looking at me all the time now and be like, like how her channel growing up, blowing up so fast, and how she this, how she that. I tell you, it's God. Like, it's me. I'm working hard and stuff, but it's God. God restored my mind. He restored my faith. I done told y'all numerous times. Once upon a time, I had no faith in God. I said God wasn't real. And for God to still, like, save me from where I was going, from where I was headed, for him to save me and to show me favor, that's 
that's incredible. I'm still shocked by it. Like I can't, I can't believe it. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. But a sane mind would take you far. I always post this. I don't posted it numerous times. Um, the, the saying, change your mind and you will change your life. People get mad when I talk about depression. Some people get mad. Some people that's depressed, they're like, girl, it's not that simple. You don't know what you're talking about. And I got a super chat. I got to thank my super chat. Reborn artist life. She said, you are very deserving and you are amazing. Keep grinding and take it all in because you are highly favored. Love you, Peach, and your family. Thank you, Reborn artist life. And thank you for that message. I read your message. I listened, not read. I listened to your message on Instagram last night and it had me like in tears. Thank you so, so much for your message. Not only the super chat, but your kind words, your encouragement, your support. I truly, truly, truly value you. But um, I just thinking about God. God is just so good. I swear to God, God is so good. If you currently at a low point in your life and you feeling like it ain't no God. Don't nobody love you. Don't nobody care about you. You done fucked your life up so bad. It ain't no way you can fix it. I swear to you. People say I shouldn't swear, but I swear to you. If you ask God to come into your life, if you ask God to save you, like, God, I don't want to live this kind of lifestyle no more. God, I want to be a better parent to my kids. God, I want to have a same mind. God, I want to make money and not have to do anything illegal or unethical. God, I want to be able to keep my word. God, I just want to be happy, Lord. Lord, I just want to feel love. God will give you all of those things. You won't have to go look for it in your man, your woman, your mom, or the streets, no, your kids, none of that. You won't have to look for it anywhere. God will give you everything that you desire. All you got to do is just ask him and have faith. Ask him and have faith. I mean, I don't have... Y'all, I don't know if y'all ready to hear all the stuff I don't, I don't been through. I'm like, should I tell them this? Should I? Should I really tell y'all that? But when you look at me, just know like it's God. It's just, I got to give all glory all glory to God just for my mind in itself. It don't even matter if I wasn't on YouTube and my YouTube wasn't going so well. It wouldn't matter as long as I could have the mindset that I got right now. And then y'all already know she believed she could, so she did. <laughs> she believed she could, so she did. I had to pray too because I had got off track. Okay, I was trying to balance my life and YouTube because I have to edit videos, record videos, recording a piece of cake. I walk around with my camera. I record every day. Every day. I don't record everything, but I record every day. Editing is some work. Editing takes time. And then I also have five kids. I'm dropping them off to school. Got to help them with homework. Got to stay on them about this. Got to talk to them about behaviors. Got to clean up. Got to do laundry. I got to cook. Um, wash dishes. Got to make sure they bathe. You know, wake them up on time. I have a lot of stuff to do. And then I have a lot of other desires that... um I have that I'm pursuing currently. I'm writing another book for those of you who don't know. So it's a lot that goes into doing YouTube, but I thank God for giving me the mind to do it all. But like, I have to learn how to balance it. So I've been praying for balance. I just been asking God, like, God, teach me how to balance. I ask God for everything. I'm like, my kids go to acting up. I'm like, God, please help me with these kids. God, please teach me how to get through. Like, give me the way to get through to my kids because they all so different and they all um learn differently now i do want to share some things that have helped me overcome depression because i know many of you out there are depressed and you like dang how can i get this you might feel like you'll never be happy again like it's no way i'm ever gonna be happy it's no way i'm ever gonna be up just sad in the bed like just wallowing like it feel good to just like soak in the pain right as bad as that sound you might be like no it don't it does sometimes it feel good to just be like a victim right I want to tell you what ha happened for me, what helped me get through my depression. Um, it was just me changing my mind. I listened to a lot of posi positive mindset videos. I always say all that positive mindset videos. One of my favorite people to listen to is Steve Harvey. His um, motivational speaking, I listen to that a lot. It's one video he got, I listen to it at least. I'll say about 10 times a day. Anytime I feel like sad. Now, there are times when I might... Feel like I can handle life and I'm just not going to worry about it. So I don't listen at all. And then things will happen to me. And then I'm like, oh, uh -uh, I got to go listen to my video. And I listen to the video and it kind of just bring me back to center. Another thing I had to do was I had to stop feeling like it sucked to have all these kids. Like it sucked to have all these kids. It sucked to be a single mom. It's all about outlook. 
how the saying goes, change your, change your mind and you'll change your life. So if you're looking at everything in life from a negative standpoint, then you're going to have a negative life. Shout out to Miss Nash for the super chat. Thank you, Maisha Nash. Appreciate you, girl. Um, I am reading your comments. Y'all don't have to super chat me, but when y'all super chat me, it show up in a different color. Like YouTube, tell us to thank y'all more so versus like all the other comments. They just popping up, popping up, popping up. It's so many. But when they're a super chat, it pop up. When I get a cash app, it pop up on my phone. A order, it pop up on my phone. So thank y'all. Y'all don't have to do things like that. Hitting a likey like for your girl, that means the world to me. But thank y'all so much. Um, but one of the things I had to realize is I had to change my mindset. Like even when I said my fifth baby, nobody knew I was pregnant aside from my like mama and my sister and my brother, other than and daddy. Other than that, nobody knew I was pregnant. Even when my stomach got real big and people say you pregnant, I'd be like, no, I'm just fat. Even when I gave birth to the baby and our cousin in the hospital was like, Peaches, I didn't know you had another baby. I said, I didn't. The baby was in the NICU. I didn't have no other baby. And so they was like, um, well, why are you on this floor? This is the floor where people have babies. And I'm like, I'm just visiting. And a whole gown in a wheelchair. I'm just visiting. And on the day when we could bring the baby home, I'm in a wheelchair pushing the baby out. She like, mm-hmm, you up in line saying you ain't had no baby. And I still didn't tell nobody. That I had a baby. I didn't post no pictures of the baby as an infant on Facebook or none of that. Because I didn't want to be judged. Like, life is already hard as fuck. But when people going around just judging you, judging you, judging you, judging you, judging you. And you start to believe their judgments. You end up falling into a depression and being sad. So, I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want people to know, like, she had another baby in here. Girl, how many kids she going to have? You had another baby. You ain't married yet. da 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 and so a piece of me was ashamed. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. That's why I was hiding. A piece of me was ashamed that I was having another baby. I was still not married. And I did not want to hear anybody's judgment to make me more sad. Our last three kids, me and daddy gave birth to by ourselves. So like before COVID, when everybody like, oh, how am I going to have one person in the room? Me and daddy been doing that. I love giving birth to my kids with just him because that's all I have to lean on for support. He be like, you got this. Push. You could do it. It's just a beautiful, very beautiful, intimate moment. And I just love that. Um, but what I was going to say, I'm just thinking about him. It's just making me smile. I'm in love with him right now. Me and daddy been together for 15 years off and on. And when you've been in a long-term relationship, sometimes you don't love them. Okay. Sometimes you hate them. Sometimes you wish you never met them. Sometimes you just want to break up with them and never see them again. And then other times you just feel so in love. And that's how I feel right now. I feel like a little school girl. Like, I am so in love with this man. I really like him. And y'all better stop saying he fine for I come through the phone and beat you with a stick. Get up off him. Get up off him, sis. Sister girl. But um, when I talked with daddy, when I was feeling like ashamed and stuff, and me and daddy was in a breakup and stuff, um... Daddy just talked to me, and I done told y'all this before. He told me, you better be happy like you got kids. Like, some people can't have kids. Some people jealous of you because they can't have kids. Some people, kids, all deformed and special. We only got one special needs child. You should be blessed. Like, be happy for that. Don't be ashamed. Like, when he talked to me, it changed my mind. It changed my outlook. And when I stopped looking at my kids, as like me being punished. Like, when me and daddy was broke up, and he was living his life after I had my fifth baby and we broke up and he was living his life and I was home with the kids. At first, I was sad. I was listening to, don't you love it has no hiding place. It's not something you just push away. It's always that. Okay, for y'all who don't know the song, it's that um hurts like hell. Like, sometimes it hurts. And I would watch... um. I would watch Waiting to It's Hell, and I would lay in the bed and cry snot book of tears all day. And my oldest son was like, Mom, you, you making yourself sad at this point. You making you sad because you laying in the bed listening to depressing music. You laying in the bed listening to um, watching Waiting to It's Hell, crying snot book. Like, it was me. Like, at that point, he was like, you need to watch this. And he put it on something motivational, and he turned me on more to YouTube. And watching other moms, we got My Jazzy Life in the house, watching other moms like um jazzy my jazzy life when i wanted to start youtube i remember i reached out to her on instagram and i asked her what kind of camera do you use and she wrote me back for that i love her greatly she was like oh this kind of camera but if you're on a budget get this kind of camera um but just seeing other moms other youtube moms like myself just getting up going to work 
feeding their kids, cooking for their kids, doing laundry, watching other women like that. Or one lady who husband had left her. He was cheating on her. She had to leave him and go move with her parents. It gave me the strength to keep going. Like knowing that you're not alone. Knowing that you're not alone. Now at that moment, I was not ready to share my life. But I looked at these women for motivation to keep going. That's why I say, like, when people want me to bash other YouTube moms, I will never bash them. We are all different. Life is hard for all of us. But to have the balls to continue to try and to feed your kids and not kill your kids and continue to love your kids. Y'all ever think of how hard it is for a woman? Like, I remember one time on Facebook I had wrote, I was like... This morning, I got my kids up for school. I made them brush their teeth. I earned all their school clothes. I put all their clothes on. I got everybody out the house on time. I came home. I started cooking dinner. And I cleaned up my whole house and did laundry. And I did it all with a broken heart. Like, that's how strong women are. Y'all ever think about that? And y'all steady trying to tear them down. That is a hard pill to swallow. You out here stuck. It's the mindset thing. If you feel like you stuck, right? At that moment, that's how I felt stuck. Stuck with all these kids. And this dude out here living his life like he ain't got no kids. He going to the clubs. He out here, you know, living his life like a single person because he was. Meanwhile, you can't go nowhere because you got to watch your own kids. You can't even go on no date because you got your kids. You ain't got no village. Can't drop them off to your mama house. You can fall into depression like that. But once he talked to me about not being ashamed of my kids and my son talking to me about not listening to music that make me sad or watching movies that's sad, like change what you listening to. And my son started pouring so much into me like, mommy, you could do this. You could do that. My 12 year old, I love him for that. He inspires me so much. Once he started doing those kind of things and I started changing my mindset, I started listening to positive thinking videos and start learning how to, I still care what people say about me, but I learned that Sometimes it's not you, it's them. They're coming from a place of jealousy. They're coming from a place of hurt themselves. They're coming from a place of wanting to see you fail. They're, they want to kick you while you're down. Once I started learning that, people weren't coming from a genuine place. Like, And what, what they're doing to you ain't got nothing to do with you. It got something to do with them. It made my life much easier and I was able to start to overcome um my depression and the whole time like when me and daddy was separated he was separated from me but not from my kids he still took them to the zoo just without me he still took them to school on certain days without me like he still did stuff with the kids without me it was just like he a good daddy at that moment we just was separated he wasn't a good man to me but he was a good dad to the kids and i just had to learn how to co-parent with that and we end up getting back together but um it's a choice. Y'all just got to stop. A lot of times y'all hurting y'all own feelings. Y'all just up here like letting people who jealous of you manipulate you out your spot. Sus. <laughs> Sus. Stop letting people manipulate you out your spot. I told y'all about my shoes and my cousin. People will do that. They will bring up everything negative about you. Everything you already feel insecure about. They already know that this is an insecurity for you because you done exposed it. Or they could just tell because this is an insecurity for them. So what's in you is in them, right? They see that this is your weak spot. So they're going to hit you where it hurts. Y'all got to start reading books, okay? Y'all got to start reading books so you can understand psychologically. Like psychology, psychology, how um the mind works and how people are. So people will come and they will come to attack you to steal your spot. Even when we go to war, what we go to war for? We go to war to steal land, steal oil. Like, they don't go to war just because they go to war to steal something for you. So, you have to be mindful of that. But I would say that's my advice. My advice is to look at people who's doing the things that you're not doing. Like, if you can't clean up your house because you're depressed, look at cleaning videos. But don't watch them all day, okay, sis? <laughs> watch them for like 15 minutes for motivation. Then get your ass up and clean. Because I remember I used to sit there and I watch them all day and still not clean up nothing. Like, oh, that's so good. Eat my popcorn. No, sis. Get your ass up and clean up. Watch 15 minutes at your timer, then go clean the kitchen. If you're super depressed and you feel like you can't clean up, make sure you keep your kitchen clean and your bathrooms clean. Because you're going to use your kitchen the most and you're going to use your bathroom the most. You don't want to go in no bathroom and take a shit. You've been in a long time because you've been on your phone. Be in the bathroom taking a dump for 30 minutes, been unfinished pooping, and you still in there in the bathroom because you're scrolling on Instagram. You want to be scrolling on Instagram and filth? Like, keep your bathroom clean and you can't bathe in no dirty tub. So keep your bathroom and your kitchen clean. And then slowly work on 
the other stuff. I remember I had to create a schedule. I stopped washing all our clothes on the same day. I started washing clothes every day because that worked for me. Okay, on Monday, I'm going to wash my clothes. On Tuesday, I'm going to wash my oldest clothes. On Wednesday, I'm going to wash the little kids' clothes. On Thursday, I'm going to wash the baby clothes. Like, so you don't feel like you're overwhelmed. Washing a bunch of clothes for a bunch of people at once is very overwhelming. Shout out to Reborn Artist Life for the super chat. Girl, you showing sure out today. Oh, big baller. Shot caller. Need a baby doll, baby girl. You better call her. Big baller. Oh, shot caller. Need a baby doll, baby girl. You better call her. She make baby dolls. Yes, she do. Reborn dolls. And she black till she make baby dolls. The poor black baby. Ooh. And I still got on my waist trainer. <laughs> shot waist so gorgeous. Shot way so gorgeous, baby. Oh, shout out to my cousin Lily in the house. Lily, I sent you a package. A package. A package. A package. Ooh, I sent you a package. Okay, I'm hyper, y'all. Um, let's say you fun. I love you. Thank you, girl. Yes, definitely take time out for yourself. But you just gotta change your mindset. If you feel like, in your mind, if you feel like, Oh my God, my kids bad as shit. They annoying. They don't never give me no break. They hard headed. I can't stand them. They sorry ass daddy left me with all these motherfucking kids. I just hate that I'm a single mama. I can't stand these motherfucking kids. I ain't never got no motherfucking free time. Okay, your energy is bad. Your mind is bad. And you just gonna have a fucked up day with some fucked up kids. But if you start to think, God, I'm so happy for my kids. My kids so smart. My kids so healthy. My kids so helpful. And you start telling your kids that. You start telling your kids little shit like, oh my God, I love when you make up your bed when I ain't asked you to. You want to start having positive reinforcements. You want to speak positive of your kids. Like, just think of yourself. You a person and your kids a person. The world beating your ass and you're going to go beat your kids ass. Make it make sense. If it hurts your feelings, why you don't think your kids got feelings? That's how you got to look at it. So you just like, Try to change your mindset and think, that's right, hit a light, 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 light. Listen, I'm uploading a video right now from my family vacation. Now, I ain't going to get monetized, so it's got all the little music. We was having karaoke night. Ooh, baby, the ghetto. When I tell y'all, it was ghetto, and it's ratchet, and ain't going to have no commercials because I can't make no money because it was other people's music. Mm -hmm. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it so you could see my family. And I had a good time that night. It was a good time. It was an okay time. Saturday night was better. But the night that I'm going to upload is Friday night karaoke. Y'all going to see it. I'm going to make it public as soon as I get off live. Make sure y'all check out that video. Make sure you got your notifications on, okay? Make sure you're going to see like, dang, they really ghetto. They ratchet. She ratchet. Ah, OMG. What do she have on? She ratchet. Ooh, her lace is on wrong because she ratchet. Yes, yeah, ratchet. It, it was fun, though. It was it was a good time. So, I hope y'all enjoy it. I was so surprised. Can you do gaming? Like a gaming video? I told my son that. Sip the drink, girl. We getting hot. Big girl mama. These lights ain't no joke. This light right here. This light. It got me hot and sweaty. It got me hot and sweaty. And I ain't got no man right now. So, I'm hot and bothered. Ooh, I didn't bother. Ooh. Um, what else gonna say? Y'all just gotta change the mindset. And that's what anything. You might think, I hate this stupid ass job. I hate coming here. I hate this motherfucking job. If you hate the job so much, quit, but you can't quit because you got bills, right? So instead of saying I hate this stupid ass job and making your own self miserable at that stupid ass job, tell yourself, I love this job. Because it could pay my bills. Like, I ain't going to be working here forever. But I'm going to do it for three more months. After this, I'm quitting this stupid-ass job to um start my business. But in the meantime, I love this job. This is a great job and a great opportunity. I'm so blessed to have a job so I ain't got to be homeless. It's all about your mental. You got to think it. If you think it's easy, it's easy. If you think it's hard, it's hard. I'm for real. She believed she could, so she did. Ooh, I got another order. <laughs> okay, look. Y'all going to be fine as fuck. Y'all gonna be fine as fuck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nah, jump on it. Sit on it. Squat, squat, and twerk. <laughs> go ahead, go to work. Ooh. Okay, I'm telling you. So after you get your body right, after you get your your breathing right. So like when you first start waist training, this is what you want to do, sis. When you first start waist training, you only want to waist train for like an hour or two hours. 
else. Because you got to build up your endurance. You ain't used to having, you know, all this all. <laughs> Squeeze up extra tight. You know, you're not used to that. So, do it for like an hour. Two hours. Then, after you build up your tolerance, you can keep it on. And you can get in the bedroom with Bae. And you could be like, hold on, can I do it with this song? Ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, yes, ooh, yes. You could be all like that. You could be all like that. And everything going to be tight. And he going to really like you. And then you might get pregnant. And don't be calling me because I don't, I don't give out plan B's. We have them over here. We just had a baby. I see strong mommy Chrissy. Then stepped in the room. Hey, strong mommy Chrissy. Whew. Big girl, mama need a, a break. Sip your drink, girl. Sip your drink. Shout out to the peach patch. Hey, cousin Lily. Okay, I ain't read none of y'all comments, really. Girl, how do you keep your weight on with all this energy? Because I eat. Girl, I be walking in eating. Me and daddy be going to exercise, and I be having ice cream cone while we walking. Like, oh, but I can't wait to lose this weight. Dad is supposed to help me. Like, I told him, like, when you see me eating sweets, tell me don't eat it. But the thing is, daddy don't believe in, like, trying to control me. He just let me do what I want to do. He's like, girl, you're going to eat it anyways, or you're going to get mad when I tell you I ain't your daddy, da 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 so he just let me be fat. But come here. Come close. He like fat girls. Mm -hmm. Most men like fat girls. Believe it or not, you be around here thinking like, I remember I seen that on Instagram. I seen a post that went viral on Facebook, a post that went viral. And they was talking about how much they like fat girls. You all this time, all this time, you up here in the mirror like, dang, I'm so fat, my titties off. Sagging from feet five, baby. I got a, I got a, what they call them now? Fupa covering my coochie, you know, and um, feeling all insecure. Whole time, he love that fupa. He be like, ooh, it keeping that thing all nice and juicy. It's all extra juice. I mean, my, my sister, baby father, he was like, he don't like skinny girls because they got long coochies. He said, a skinny girl, now the fellas on the, on the vlog, on the live, comment down below. But this is what he said. And they had a whole conversation. Him and all my cousins, I was just listening and asking questions. He was like, yeah, with well, a skinny girl, you got to, like, try to put it all in. You got to try to, like, look, you got to try to pull it all in like that. All in. You got to try to, like, kill her. Because her coochie long. Her coochie long. And everybody ain't got a long peen. Some of them got short ones. You know? So, he was like, I don't even, like, I don't like skinny girls like that. She got to have a little weight on her. Like, the bigger the girl, it's like the more tighter and juicy it is. Think about it. It's like a grapefruit. It's like a grapefruit or a watermelon. Look how big them things is. They big and they juicy. They extra juicy because they big. You know? And you ain't got to have no booty. Them men don't want the booty. I mean, some of them do. And if you ain't got no booty, shop www.waysofworship.com because we, we sell butt lifters. We can lift... <laughs> We can lift your bootay up, okay, baby? And it produce permanent results. But that's not what they want. They want the juicy cooter, okay? That's what they, they want the juicy cat. Now, I know some of y'all might be like, oh, my God, Peach, I can't believe you're talking like that. I'm sitting here with my two-year-old, my four-year-old. Listen, when I make my videos, I be putting not for kids, okay? They not. It's not for kids. It's not for kids, okay? It's for grown-ups. And I used to sell... Adult toys. I'm about to start back. I really like sex. Okay. I didn't get four boys. Four. Ask your great grandmas, your grandmas, how you get boys. Ask them. I didn't get four boys laying on my back. I didn't. She, she didn't. She didn't. You see this arch? This is this a permanent flight. Like, see that? That ain't that ain't from that ain't from laying on my back. That's what I didn't do. Okay. Just. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be real with y'all, okay? Didn't get them four boys, and, I, and this is another thing. That's why I want to tell y'all, cause a lot of y'all girls out here with good, good cooter, okay? Y'all got all these kids, and y'all letting these girls that ain't got no kids or a little bit of kids be like, that's why you can't keep no man, cause you got all them kids. <laughs> Listen, they like the girls with the kids because when you got good cooter, when you coochie good, when you coochie good. They can't pull it out. We just, we just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest with you, okay? When it's good and it's juicy and it's tight, they, they can't pull it out. They be like, oh, oh, they can't, they can't, they, 
it's gripping it. Like it can't, it can't really, it can't really move. It can't come out. And then they just like, okay. And then they just, you know, they just explode. And when they explode, it get all mushy. And then it just come down. And when it come down, they go, daddy, daddy like, I don't think daddy want me to talk about that. But anyways, it can't, it just get mushy. And when it get mushy, it just slip out. That's all. That's how it happened. So like, if you ain't got a lot of kids, most likely you either had a whole bunch of abortions or your cooter is trash. Okay. They can't, they can't pull it out. They can't pull out the, listen, and this is the thing. Y'all be like, who gonna want her with all them kids? Child, this, this is the thing. My other friend, she got a bunch of kids. When I only had one kid, she had a bunch of kids. And I be like, with Jay, girl, how do men still be wanting you? And you got like six kids. She be like, girl, they be like, girl, if you got six kids, I know that thing got to be five. Give me a try. They want to try. They want, they want to see what the hype about. Now listen, you a lady, don't be just giving it all out. Don't just give it all out to everybody, okay? You want to keep some stuff to yourself. You know, you want to keep you a secret. Not a Victoria's secret, but you know, you know, just keep you a little stuff to yourself. Just because niggas is crazy. They jump out of bushes and stuff. Don't do not do that to them. So, that's all. I just want y'all to be more confident in y'all stuff. I used to feel that way until I had those kind of conversations. When my cousin and my sister, baby, before, my sister not even fat. Like, she got a little shape on her now, but she used to be a, a stick. And they up here talking about, they like big girls and skinny girls, coochies is long and they can't really, excuse me, versus a big girl, you just put it in, it's just all wet and juicy and he like, oh my God, about to just go crazy. Mm-hmm. They just don't be want to tell nobody because of what society got to say about them. That's all. She said, thank you, Andre. She said, may God continue to bless you and your family. Thank you. I know y'all probably like peaches. Girl, how you went from talking about how good God is? To waist training to sex. Listen, y'all know what them Christian folk be saying. God know my heart. He know my heart. He's still working on me. But you know, like they had sex too in the Bible. How you think they got no kids? How, how we got here to have sex? Just having a conversation because I want you ladies to be more confident in yourself. Stop walking around feeling like ain't nobody gonna never want me because all these kids. girls they want you. My mama got. Three kids, three baby daddies, and she married my stepdaddy. They ain't got no kids together. They've been married now for how old am I? Me and daddy been together fifteen. They've been married. They've been married for fifteen years, and they've been together for I'm tw they got together for seventeen years. They've been together for seventeen years of my life, and this man ain't never tried to molest me. He ain't never beat on me. I had my own credit card when I was thirteen years old. Like very active. He was there when I had choice. Um, he just a very, very active father, very active grandfather, very encouraging. Somebody gonna want you, sis. You ain't gotta put up with that. You just gotta believe that you're worthy. Now, if you're around here, you're picking up worthless men because you think you're worthless. You're gonna get what you put out there, okay? Energy. Energy, all about mindset. If you think you ain't shit and you don't deserve shit, and ain't nobody gonna be with you, you're gonna get ain't shit men. They're gonna treat you like you ain't shit. You're gonna be around here going through bullshit and you're gonna be sad. Now, if you go ahead and get confident about yourself and you say, hey, hey, I got I got five kids, but I'm smart. I look good. Um, I'm ambitious. Okay, I know how to cook. I love my kids. My kids love me. My kids are respectful. If you go to start thinking like that, girl, God will send you a man just like that. God will send you a man who thinks the same. He'll think more highly of you than you think of yourself. And he's going to teach you something and expand your life. You got to you gotta feel that way. Now, if you're around here feeling like you ain't shit, that's how you're going to get treated. If you're around here not loving yourself, ain't nobody going to love you. Even when somebody do love you, you're not going to recognize love because you don't love yourself. Because you feel like I'm undeserving of love. Don't nobody love me. My own mama don't love me. My own daddy don't love me. Don't nobody love me. I don't even love me. Who would love somebody like me? God. God. And after God love you, you're going to learn to love yourself. Because you're going to be like, wow. He's going to show you like, I love you and I'm enough. And then you're going to be like, wow. Then you're going to be in love with yourself. And then you're going to listen to me. And you're going to be like, dang, I got good cooter. <laughs> got a little fupa. Got the good cooter. Fupa, fupa, fupa with the good cooter. Fupa, fupa, fupa with the good cooter. Oh, he can't pull out. You know, he an old that's all I'm saying. I just want y'all to be a little bit more, not a little bit. I want y'all to be a lot of confident because that's how I'm going to be. I'm going to be so confident. Even if you watch my transition on YouTube, 
when I started my YouTube channel, I was insecure about a lot of things. I was insecure about a lot of things. I ain't want y'all to know my child had autism or which child had autism. I wanted to protect him. I was ashamed of my kitchen because it was small and I got a gas stove. I was ashamed of a lot of things. I was ashamed that I ain't in no big ass house. You know, I ain't, I ain't rich, but I'm going to get rich. That's the only thing that keeps me going. I know that if I keep working hard on this platform, everything I want, it's a mindset. Change your mind, change your life. It's a mindset. I know if I keep uploading these videos, keep not letting up, nobody get to me. Even when I have my moments, okay, let me go listen to my positive mindset, positive affirmation videos and keep manifesting. I know that I'm going to be great. Like today, <laughs> today, today, you can't fuck up my vibe. Come on. Today, you can't fuck up my vibe. No, no, no. Ain't nobody gonna fuck up my vibe today. We had to get a little hip hop for a little hip hop. A little hip hop crowd. It was like, what the fuck? Okay. Don't let nobody fuck up your vibe. You know, just be happy. You got a lot to be happy for. I don't care if you got 12 kids, 13 kids. I don't care if you got 12 baby daddies, bitch. Be happy. Somebody gonna still love you. You're still worthy. You're still worth love. I don't care if you done fucked up your whole life. I don't care. God don't care. You still deserve it. You still finna get you some good shit. And that's the thing. When the good shit come, don't panic. <laughs> don't run. Don't run from the good shit. Be happy. You deserve good shit. You deserve goodness in your life. My brother, I always tell my brother business, but he don't look, look at my videos anyway. So it don't matter. He don't watch my videos. So we don't care. We don't tell his business. My brother dating this girl right now. She got two kids. And one of her kids, her daughter, her oldest child, I'm telling all their business. Her oldest child's a problem, right? She 14. She a problem. And my brother got one child, you know, and this girl got two kids and she... Her kids are older, you know, 14 and older. And she with my brother, and my brother is in love. Okay, he is in love. He loves her dirty draws, okay? I ain't never seen my brother like this. He told me he got a girlfriend. My brother ain't never admit to having a girlfriend a day in his life. He introduced this girl to the family. He's real deal in love with this girl. And this this girl, I was going to call her the B word, but we ain't going to do that. This girl wanted to run off. Like, she like, she don't understand. He bought her some flowers. You seen how those Instagram... Flowers was wrapped in money. He bought her some flowers and wrapped them in 20s. Daddy ain't never even did that for me. I was feeling some type of way. I'm like, look at this shit. I got a little attitude. I was like, you see this? Look what look what he did for this girl. You ain't never even did nothing to me like this. Why he ain't never do this for me? He don't even know her. You know what? I ain't even talking to you for the rest of the day. You don't care nothing about me. You know, I caught my little attitude or whatever. Call me a little attitude, right? So she, he was like in love and she had went live on Instagram and she was saying how she can't be with this boy because he's too nice and she think he's trying to play her and this and this. And I'm like, girl, you're not trying to play you. And the people on Instagram giving her bad advice like, yeah, he's trying to play you, girl. Oh, yeah, he don't even know who he is, girl. Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, I'm like, this girl is so dumb. She out here telling her business and telling, her, telling everybody how he buying her flowers and giving her money. She ain't never had no man do nothing like this for her. And she ready to run. Cause she don't feel like she deserve it basically and um her friends like trying to get with him like okay i'm gonna try to go get with him girl because this is a good man she don't know what to do to good man because y'all be feeling like y'all don't deserve good shit y'all be done been in so many bad relationships that y'all feel like i don't deserve nothing good i don't deserve like if a man coming in he doing something good he he just trying to hurt my feelings on purpose it's okay to have your guard up but i'm like this is crazy when you get good shit just like enjoy it wait wait stop Telling somebody they're going to fuck up and wait for them to fuck up. How about that? Stop being like, oh, he just trying to play me. I bet he trying to mess with other bitches. Probably buy everybody flowers. That nigga ain't even bought my mama no flowers. I'm going to call him when I get off the here and tell him that. He ain't never bought me no flowers. Y'all had buying girls flowers. Mm -hmm, I'm bothered by that, but I'm happy for him. He's genuinely in love with, with her. And the next day they made up because I stream recorded it and I sent it to him. And I was like, you need to make up with this crazy girl. She crazy and she toxic, but she reminded me so much of my mama. And I told him, it just reminded me of my mama and my stepdad. Cause my stepdad, I was 12. My sister was 14 when my mama and my stepdad got together. And my sister, she was a bad child. She was a problem. I was the bad adult. My sister was the bad child. So I'm like, it reminds me so much of that. I feel like if she's not a dummy, she's just been hurt. I feel like if my stepdad 
can come into my mama life and change it completely. Because after my mom got my stuff that she started traveling out the country. She stopped getting in fights. She changed completely. Like, he helped her elevate to a whole nother level. And that's all my brother trying to do because he's seen that be done. He's seen my mama be elevated by a man. He's experienced that. My brother was young. He was really young. My mom and my um, stepdad got together. So he's seen that. So he don't see, like, how we looking at her like, oh, this ghetto girl with all these kids. He looking at her like, I love her. She's a great person. She has a great personality. She a good mama. She did, she that. Like, he see the good in her. And I think it's because of that reason. So I like her for him. I was like, she remind me of my mama. And I know, like, she ain't gonna take no crap, especially from my family. Like, she like, she ain't gonna play with them. Or him. So I like her for him, but ain't my choices for him to like her. And I think um, a lot of times, us as women or people, period, we just feel like, why is our life going so good when we done been through so much stuff? Even me. I remember like a couple weeks ago, I was happy. Like, I just was so happy. And I told daddy, I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. He was like, what you mean? I said, I'm so happy. I don't know what's wrong with me. He was like, Peaches, being happy is normal. Like, you know, like, you supposed to be happy. And I'm like, no, it feel weird. That's because I have been sad for so long. Now, I'll say 90, 97.2345%. 97.2345% of the time, I'm happy. I wake up happy. I'm still trying to master some things. Like I told y'all before, I can read a comment and let that comment get to me and put me in a bad mood and be like, uh, you know, I'm in a little funk right now. But sometimes... I don't let it get to me. Like, daddy, daddy helping me so much. Like, he was just like, I was like, if I post this, they might say this and this. He was like, I was like, I don't want to have to deal with that. He like, you ain't got to deal with it. I said, what you mean when I post it, they going to say this or say that? He was like, no, you don't have to deal with that. You post it and you go on about your fucking business and live your life. Like, you, your job is to just post what you post. And they either like it or they don't like it. And you live your life and you keep on creating and posting. I was like. Okay, dad. You know, it just made me look at things different. I'm happy to have the people I currently have in my life encouraging me, um, just reminding me to do good. Even when I don't get on YouTube, like when I was off of YouTube, having y'all write me on Facebook and Instagram and threaten me and cash out me, like upload a video. That I needed that in my life. And I thank y'all for that. Y'all helped me so much. And like I said, if you see my transition, and it's going to continue to. Hopefully go up, but I'm going to continue to transition on YouTube. Shout out to Kim K and G Squad for the super chat. Thank you so much. Cousin Lily say, you all are great together. Love the family. Thank you. We're not perfect, though. I want y'all to realize that. We're not perfect. We're human. I know somebody's like, oh, one minute you acting like he a bad guy. The next minute you acting like he's such a great man. Hold on. I ain't acting. Them are real emotions. I'm an emotional person. One day I might be happy. One day I might be sad. And the whole day I go like this. Okay, just like that. Um, so you just seeing all of my emotions. But I'm gonna learn how to be more stable. I don't know if that's possible. Can women be stable? Comment down below if you're a stable woman. Like, can we be like men? I told y'all daddy is like this all day. He either like this, like low, like that, or he either like medium or he either high, like all day. It's like he consistent. He ain't just gonna be like, I'm 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 a roller coaster ride, baby. Even when I make my CDs, baby, I might have gospel at the beginning. I might have Young Jeezy at the middle and then um, Rod Wave at the end. So I go from praising the Lord. I need just a little boat, Jesus. I need. Then I'm like, when the pressure, what you going to do when the pressure's on? I'm going to post up on the block. With my, and then next minute, I'm like, Quanda, do you hear me? I'm in Houston all alone and I'm thinking about you. Then I'm crying. I'm saying, love don't love nobody. Yeah. You know, I be all, I be all over the place. I feel like it might just be a woman thing, but I'm not sure. So I want y'all to understand that. When y'all looking at my videos, you're like, damn, this bitch crazy. Or how daddy said, this girl retarded. I'm just in tune with my emotions and I experience them all and I just express it. I don't, I don't sugarcoat my emotions in my vlogs. How I'm feeling at that moment, I tell you how I'm feeling at that moment. And the next moment, if I'm feeling a different way, I'm feeling a different way. So that's just me. That's how I am. I, 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 I don't know what to say. You wear your heart on your sleeve. I do. 
I don't know how to, I don't know how to not do that. All I know how to do is be me, okay? I'm learning. I'm trying to learn. I'm asking for steps. I'm one of those people, you got to give me like a guide. Like, you got to give me like a 10-step checklist or a book to read, and I got to go through it and create my own checklist. I'm one of those kind of people. I need some steps to help me accomplish whatever I'm trying to do. That's me with the kids in the background singing with me. <laughs> hey, Miss Latasha, girl. I'm all over the place. Y'all should see that in my live. Okay, my lives be a roller coaster ride. You like, girl, what is you doing? Just look, I just one minute ago I had one leg up. One leg. I wish I, I could do that. Now this leg right here, this is my trouble leg. You know, I feel like Respucia. I got a trick hip. I got a, ooh, I got a trick hip. This is my trouble leg. But this is my good leg right here. This the, we could we we could do some we could do some things with that leg. Make sure y'all shop www.waysogorgeous.com. Oh, I still ain't even open these gifts. Let's get to opening these packages, okay? So this is the first package we're gonna open. It's from Gigi Gems. Okay, they in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Ooh, sound like Skittles. Y'all heard that? Somebody post my link. It's www.waist waste <laughs> waste and then so s o and then gorgeous g o r g e o u s. Believe it or not, most people don't know how to spell gorgeous. And it's okay, because I ain't know how to spell gorgeous until I name my baby that. But every time we go, they're like, how do you spell that? Even though people say it all the time, you're so gorgeous. Ooh, girl, you look at gorgeous. I need my scissors. Here we go. Shout out to my Patty Peach that sent me these. She sent me three pal. Ow. Ow. Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah. Ow. Who they want? Chop a style, chop, chop, chop a style, chop a style, chop, chop. She want chop, chop. They want chop, chop. I'm, I'm shaking my thighs. I'll be trying to shake my butt, but it don't be working. It be my thighs. Okay. I'm going to cut this on open. Shout out to Gigi's Gems. What do we got over here? Round here, between yawn and the western. We call this here a little twin, twin, twin. Yeah. By the way, I love your wig. Ooh, baby, these my braids. <laughs> Pull them, daddy. Ooh, da ooh. Oh, oh. Yeah, these, these braids, baby. They, they, this not a wig, baby. This, <laughs> we gonna keep this there for about two more months. Or maybe one. If I get out Hollywood on YouTube, it depends on how them YouTube checks hit. If the YouTube checks go to hit, then I might change up my how to next month. But if the YouTube checks not hit, they hit, we not, we ain't changing nothing. Man, artist reborn life, you showing out with a super chat. She said, Peaches, it will only let you post links if you are a mod, but you can post it yourself. I sent you an IG to explain it to you. Thank you so much. I don't know how to post nothing on here. I see the little comment box, but I don't see how I could comment. So, it is what it is. This is what we got. We got some tissue. Oh, they fancy. There's something up in here. They got me a privately read letter, so I'm going to read that privately. Y'all ready for this? What is it? Oh, what, oh, what could it be inside the wrapping paper for me? Yeah, wow. Yeah. Y'all ready? It's pink. I can see the pink. Or it's red. Ooh. Girl, you're so bad at gift opening. That's how you know you ain't getting no gifts. Ow. Ooh, we got a necklace. Some paparazzi. I ain't never had nothing for paparazzi. A paparazzi necklace and it's pink. That look good on me. <laughs> next, next daddy day date. Well, what's up? I'm in this. What's in it? Got the earrings. Ooh, baby, you ain't gonna. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. I'm be too cute. So that's one. She also sent me this paparazzi stuff. Let me show y'all her car, because, you know, we support small businesses around here. Yes, we do. It says Gigi Gems. That's her card. It says accessories, invite, become, and join my team. Her phone number, y'all ready? We're going to give her her phone number. It's 843-798-8184. Her website is www.paparazziaccessories.com slash 375. This is important. Excuse me, slash three seven five eight five eight GG. The 
phenom, Gigi the phenom at gmail.com. Gigi the phenom. So y'all hit her up for all of your paparazzi's goods. This is my first ever paparazzi set because I ain't never ordered nothing from them. This cute too, child. <laughs> this is like I got a little piece of some money, baby. I'm going to wear this when I go to casino again. Next time I go to casino again, but I'm playing back around, back around, $50 table. I'm going to wear this with my Asian friends. They probably going to know, you know, like peaches. We know this not no real diamond, but I'm going to be acting like it's real. <laughs> be acting like it's real. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, shout out to Gigi, the phenom. She sent me a letter to read privately. So, we're not going to open this. But y'all shop with her. And we just got another order over at Waste So Gorgeous. Y'all is showing out. I'm shipping out every order today. If you place the order before um, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am in Florida. So we're on Eastern Standard Time. I am going to ship your order out today. All of the items are in stock that's on that website. But our $25 um, Waste So Gorgeous Still Bone Corset. Doo -doo, so Gorgeous Still Bone Corset. Which looks like this. It got our waist language logo in it. That is trademark hunty child. Hunty boo boo child. Looks like this. This is the extra small. We carry this from extra small to 6XL. The sizes that are currently in stock are extra small, small, 3XL, 4XL, 5XL, and 6XL. So all my big girl mamas out there. <laughs> It try to look like you snatch. Got your city sitting up, got racks. Yeah, you might want to get you one of these, Charlie. I got on a 4XL with extra strings. That's what I have, 4XL. We also have a 6XL I'm about to show y'all. 6XL. And these are on sale for $25, guys. It comes with a pair of thongs. This is not an eye patch. I cannot tell you how many times I used to get pictures like this. Girl, I love this eye patch, but brother just called me. Who told my brother that I was talking about him? I ignored the phone call, but one of y'all had to tell him that I was talking about him. But people used to send me pictures like this, like, I love this eye patch, but how can I make the eye patch tighter? Girl, this is a thong. This, this is a thong. I, let me see if I can put this on. Hold on. Can I fit this? I'm not a thong wearer. I'm an old granny panty wearer. I love me some grannies. Let's see. Can I fit this thong? This 6XL thong. Daddy got my toes done. The other day, off camera, we went, ooh, I can kind of fit it. The other day, off camera, it's a thong, baby. You're going to have nothing but cheek showing. Cheek, cheek, cheek. Other day, off camera, we went to, <laughs> somebody talking about Slick Rick, to get our toes done. He treated me. He was like, your feet need to be done. You just walk around showing your feet, them dogs, them dogs. Walk them like a dog, sis. Walk them like a dog. But this is a 6XL. All right. With a waist training corset, these are corsets. This is actually the best type of waist training garment. All that little flimsy stuff y'all be wearing, y'all need to stop playing. Unless you're really working out, you need to get you one of these. Okay? You do not have to exercise. You ain't got to do nothing. You can live your life, eat your ice cream, drink your soda water, all that. Have, have you some good relations. Yes, waistsogorgeous.com. Thank you, Lily. Um, Lily. You already got this coming, baby. I had already sent you out a package, sis. Um, but what was I gonna say? With with this, you just wear it. That's all you do. You just wear it, and it's gonna give you an hourglass figure. Now, some hourglass is gonna be bigger than others. Okay, this is my hourglass figure. I'll take this off so y'all can see my stomach and stuff after this. But look at how when I put my hands straight down, y'all see those curves? Mm-hmm. Bigger curves. Mm-hmm. Um, what else I gonna say? So, when you waist train, what you want to do when you get your waist training, the first thing you want to do to put this on, I'll upload some videos. I'll actually go live with one of my cousins to make the model for me on here. But um, what you want to do is you want to loosen your strings. If you can't fit your waist training, what you want to do is order extra strings. I do sell extra strings. But you want to loosen your strings first. I love having extra strings because it's easier to put on by yourself. And then you want to loosen up your back back panels like so. And I do have these in stock. We are shipping out same day, baby. Only in stock sizes. And that's the only thing I put on sale was my in stock sizes. Um, and it looks like this. We have this right here. 
It's to protect the strings from irritating your back. Now, you can wear your waist trainer under your shirt. I have somebody tell me that it's supposed to go under your shirt. Shouty, it go however I want to go shouty. But you can wear it on top of your clothes like so. I'm wearing it on top of my clothes because I want y'all to see it. And actually, I've been wearing them outside lately. That way, people have been coming up and be like, hey, where'd you get that? You know, marketing. <laughs> marketing, they've been selling like hotcakes, baby. Selling like hotcakes. Okay. Um, what else I was going to tell you? Oh, so, got another sale. Thank you so much for shopping. www.waystogorgeous.com So, what you want to do is... This is how you're going to know this is the right side to put it up on. These pieces right here is for your waist trainer to hang on a hanger if you wanted it to. Okay? If you want to hang on a hanger. So, this is how you know this is the top. Sometimes people send me pictures and it be upside down. I'm like, girl, no, turn it over. Okay. After you loosen up your strings, you can place it on your body. You can place it on your body. I hope I am not these. Nope, I didn't. Good job, Shotty. So you're gonna place it on your body. Ooh, I'm gonna make daddy pull me on camera, but after it's on your body, it'll look like so. I got an extra string in mine because I want to be able to pull it on my own. But when I want it real tight, I make daddy help me. But you just pull it. If you want it tight, get you some assistance. But you just pull it like so. You wanna go up to just the bottom. And just go up to. Pull them and then pull your string. Right? Like so. And then you could crisscross it in the back. And then tie it in the front. I could put this on by myself. I actually did. That is just tightened this one for me today. But I could put this on completely by myself. This is the most aggressive. I just dropped the string. Whatever. This is one of the most aggressive waist trainers on the market. It's my favorite. Now, the most aggressive is our Vixen. But those are $130 and they're real, real long. And I don't like to sell those until winter time because they're so hot. But that one is the longest in torso length. This is like 12 and a half inches in torso length. If you have a long torso, I have another garment that is longer. But this is a great starter waist trainer. But let's open our next gift because she wants me to read her card privately. It says read privately. So we're not going to open this. But I want to make sure y'all all check out Gigi the Phenom. Gigi's Gems. For your paparazzi stuff. She let her be <laughs> your paparazzi consultant. I will be wearing this, baby. When I get out doing up and stuff, be all acting out extra Hollywood. All right, next gift. Ooh. Hey, Peach in the Peach Patch. Hey, she said, get me the 400 likes. Oh, let me do my song then. And we trying to hit 400 like it likes over here. Y'all ready? It go one like, two like, three like, four. Hit a like you like soon as you see my videos. You know your girl funny, yeah. You know your girl dope. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the I K E Y B A. Hit a like you like it's in a love my way. L to the I K E Y B A. Hit a like you like it's in a love my way. Like, 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 like. Let's go. Like, 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 like to the flow. Hit a like you like. Hit a like you like. Like, oh, look at the tennis bouncer. T.S. Benson ain't got nothing on me. Like, like, oh, like, 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 all right, let me open it. Say people are asking waist train questions about the waist train. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see. Let me see it. Me want to cover my lower tummy. Measure your torso and see how how um long it is. Because everybody's torso is different. Some of y'all are long in the torso. Some of y'all long in the legs. Some of y'all long in the hips. Some of y'all long in the booty. It just depends. So measure your torso. Your torso would be from right here. Down to the bottom of your stomach. Measure that. Alright, so the next thing we're opening is from Miss Rob. Ooh, what is it? Oh, what? Ooh, this is like something I'm gonna like. Like a purse. I want this in a gun purse. Let's see, let's check it on now. No card. This is like a gun purse. It's some, ooh, it's a Michael Kors. 
for Michael Kors first. She sent me a Michael Kors. Shout out to Miss Robin for the new Michael Kors bag. Mm -hmm, Miss Black, I needed a black purse. Thank you, Miss Robin. She didn't send no card, but I see her name on the package. Shout out to Miss Robin. Look at us. Bad meet the set me on the date. She gonna be date night ready. Ow. Oh yeah, well not with this one. Maybe I should wear this. Ow. Oh yeah. Ow. Yes, ma'am. All right, next package. We got it's from K Boldness LLC. Y'all know I rep my business owners because I used to have to do stuff like this for my business. Send packages out and never know what's gonna happen. Never know if they're gonna open it and promote me or what. I remember I sent the package out to Nene. Shout out to Nene, NBA young boy, baby mama Nene, Jania. And she opened it. I sent her some waist trainers. She opened them when she was pregnant with baby Casey and she posted it. And then when she had baby Casey, she wore it and she posted it and I paid her nothing. She did all that for me for simply sending her a package. I can't thank her enough. After that, we had some conversations and we made a lot of money together. Let's see, what is this? So to my business owners, I definitely recommend sending people packages. MK doesn't want black people wearing his merchandise. Well, this black girl gonna wear it. I don't care. We gonna wear it today. They said, Peach, you're a great mother and I love your channel. Here are some press on nails. Ooh, Ooh y'all trying to make a new woman out of me. Oh, yeah. They said the men be liking the grabbers. Okay, it says, um, press on nails made by me. So when you want to get all fancy, just put them on K Bonus LLC. Shout out to Miss Kenya at K Bonus LLC. Y'all check her out on Instagram. It's K B O L D N E S S underscore LLC. Oh, and they pink. Those things look all fine. Y'all is showing out. Y'all want daddy to take me on a date. Y'all want me to go on a date date. Let me use my scissors. I'm trying to rip it all up. I forgot y'all got me bougie now. She big time now. I'm a big timer now. Ow. All right. We're going to open this thing on up. You ready? Pop that thing on open. Oh, these are real cute. I ain't never worn no press on since I was like 10. You know? These cute. I'm going to figure out how to do it. It's like it's easy because she sent me some glue. And nail file, but I might have to watch a YouTube video. Shout out to my cousin Lily for dropping way so gorgeous. Y'all shot way so gorgeous. For the waist trainer, baby. I'm putting on my McKenzie bodysuit later for y'all. So y'all can see that's my favorite item. And then I guess I'm going to have to file my nails. Now, I love that it's pink. Then she got the glue that she's going to use. This is a sign to get all dressed up and go on a date with a daddy. I agree, baby. I might go even get my makeup done for y'all. Do the most for him and you. Do the most, do the most, do the most for you both. So we're going to put that back in. Cha, I got everything. I got the bag. All I'm missing is the dress. But I can make that happen on the budget. I can make that happen. And daddy had bought me some new heels. Ooh, ow, ow. He bought me some new poom slides too. Daddy been balling that on me. And I was like, boy, why is you doing that? They say this is a liquid. And this is from... It look like you Louvet custom wigs. I know she ain't sent me no wig. Hold on. Let's get it. I, I know. Ain't nobody never sent me no hair. Let me. Let's see if it's a five ninety nine box box. Ooh. Let's, let's get into this. Cause this say wigs, but it's a liquid. I don't know. It's pink. Grab the paper. I always started. I always started. Girl, if this is the wig, I might hit the floor. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it ain't no wig. It's a wig cleaner. I thought I got a wig. I was gonna, Cause you know, ain't no, I ain't got no sponsors. I ain't no big time, a big time yet. No, we we small time, but it's cool though. God still be making wax. <laughs> this is nurturing nurturing growth oil from Lavettes. It looks like this. Whoo! My package fell. I'm gonna pick it up. It's not a wig, but definitely send you one when you take your braids out. Oh, thank you. My light got cut off. Hold on, y'all. I done made it. Oh, I got all this stuff. I thought I had a wig. I was just like, girl, y'all done sent me a pop pop. Y'all done sent me a pop pop. Hold on, y'all. Because wigs is hot, baby. JT got some new wigs. Baby, JT just posted a 40 inch wig for $1,800. Who finna pay $1,800? Not me. Oh, I needed one of these. 
Y'all, it's been so hard to find a hairspray bottle. Lately, everybody been buying up all the hairspray bottles. Hairspray bottles. This is really nice. It is a rose. It's a rose framar hairspray body. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I needed that. I need that. I need you. But -na 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 -na. you're what I want. What's a detangler brush? Baby, she was thinking about my natural hair. She was like, girl, you don't need no wig. You got all that good, that good old natural hair. This is a detangler brush. Let's see what's on the website. She put a card in here because we like to support our black business owners. We sure do. So she sent me pink packaging. Let me tell you, I love when people like pay this much attention to me. Pink, pink, pink. She might just have a pink brand, but it's my favorite color, so I love that. Can you generous people send me something? Huh? They said if you don't ask, you don't get fed. But start your YouTube channel. They'll send you some stuff. They like you. Okay? Says Peach. Levesque. This is so fancy. Look how she put it in here. She got etiquette. This is a whole high class. High class has styles. Like I already said, she giving me like JT vibes. Just by how she put the card in. Let's get into it. Which one I'm supposed to pull out first? This one or this one? Comment down below. Do I pull out the pink or do I pull out the white? This is fancy. Girl never received nothing like this. Teach daddy some etiquette. Pink. Everybody agree? White or pink? This is white. This is pink. Which one? It's the proper way to do it, girl. It's about either one. Oh, it's supposed to do it a certain way. Is it love X? Love X. It says, please take pictures of before and after of your progress. Hold on. Let me get into this card. It says, Lovette's Nourishing Growth Oil. Please take pictures of your hair before and be before and track progress. Send us pictures with your results and save 10% off um, future pur purchases. And then in the back, she got how to actually use her product. She got some instructions. Get into it. Their Instagram is Lovette's, L-O-V, Lovette's. L O V E T T E S Custom C U S T O M Wigs W I G S and their Instagram and Facebook is the same. Lavette's Custom Wigs website is www.lavette's Custom Wigs. Get into it. Support small businesses. Y'all know I love all businesses. I support them all white, black, Chinese. But when they black, we show out a little bit more. So make sure y'all show out. For Miss Lovett's custom wigs. Check out her hair growth oil. I just want to get into this packaging and this professionalism. Y'all check her out. It's always a gamble. When a business owner sends you something, they're taking a gamble. They don't know if you're going to open it. They don't know if you're going to bring them anybody. So I just want y'all to check her out. I did not pay her. She did not pay me to do this. I just love supporting small businesses, especially when they take the time and gamble on sending me a package because that's what you're doing. You're gambling. You, you can send me something and I might not never open it. Or I might never open it on camera or anybody. And I wouldn't like to do that because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. So y'all make sure y'all check her out. I'm actually going to test out this hair growth oil and see what it's about and let y'all know. And she on this live. She's, it's living Lovette's life. She said, I appreciate you so much, Peach. My pleasure. Thank you for thanking that much of me to send me your product. So want to do business with me. Oh, shit. No, shit. I appreciate you. She says, thank you. So she also sent me a thank you card. Let me make sure it's not private. Can I read this out loud? Shout out to Lady D. She said, hello, Peach. Coming to Florida in October. And, oh, yeah. Going to have you a good sign, baby. Do you want me to read your card out loud or you want me to keep it private? Yes, please read it. Okay. She says, hi, Peach. I'm going to keep it plain and simple. I love you and your family. You're so resourceful and relatable. I never miss a video and I make sure to always hit a like a like, hit a like a like, hit a like a like. But yeah, girl, y'all at home, make sure y'all hit them like a like. Let's get it to 500. She says, um, honestly, you have inspired me to start my own channel hey get this money get the youtube bag get it get it get it get a youtube bag get a youtube bag get a youtube okay she says thank you so much if not if it's not too much to ask can you please shout out my youtube channel living levette's life girl you sure know how to market you see she getting all this for for some 
some of this and some of this and some of this. You a smart girl, my kind of girl. My kind of girl, because I would have did the same, okay? She says, um, living Lavette's life, which she's on here, y'all. Make sure y'all check her out. She says, I do vlogs, shopping, cooking, hauls, and cleaning. Thank you, love. All right, thank you, Miss Lavette Love's Life, girl. You had me two, two turn. I thought I was going to get a wig. I thought I was going to have my first weave promo, but... Instead, I got some hair growth or oil and I got a detangler brush and I'm still excited about that. Y'all check her out. I encourage y'all to start YouTube channels. So many people write me like, I don't start a YouTube channel because of you, X, Y, and Z. I'm actually going to be hosting a webinar very soon. I'm going to try to do it this month. I'm going to work out the details today and tomorrow. I'm going to do a webinar where I'm going to teach you guys how to utilize YouTube and how you can start earning income from YouTube. For those of you who don't know, because some of y'all still don't know, some of y'all be hating on low, 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 low. So busy looking for like, y'all be like looking for like a reason to like just hate me and just ruin me. But guess what? Cover in the blood. God is watching over me, baby. I'm chosen. Um... I am making money on YouTube now. I am no longer on food stamps. I no longer get wick. I am 100% self-sufficient. Again, shout out to G-O-D. Couldn't have did it without him. And shout out to the Peach Patch for y'all watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, super chatting me, and all that good stuff inspiring me to keep at it. Shout out to Miss Christy in Alabama. I have not seen her comment in so long, but she will always be my favorite peach. I know y'all like, what? I thought I was your favorite. No, she my favorite. But when I did not want to upload any videos because I was going through so much with my family not wanting to watch my videos, daddy not being supportive, he only let me hold his phone to watch the kids. So that was us some support, but he wasn't like into it like that. Um, I, I didn't think I would make it this far. I Well, I'm lying. <laughs> I lied. I knew I was going to make it this far. I just thought it was going to be so difficult. And y'all helped make it easy. And Miss Christy, all of them, she always like, Keep going, keep going, waiting on the next video, keep them coming, keep them coming. So she kept me motivated. I want y'all all to stay motivated. YouTube is difficult at first, but once you learn more about it, it's still difficult. I ain't gonna lie though, because my number's down this week. It's down this week. They ain't been notifying people when I go live or none of that. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. YouTube is difficult, but if you just have the right mind frame, she believes she could, so she did, you will be able to continue on this journey and it will be fruitful and it can be life-changing and shout out to my cousin Lily. she's been moderating for me without a paycheck since the beginning of time she dropped my cash app y'all want to cash out me something my um cash app name is this this speech come on this is speech one more time this is speech you got it um so shout out to my cousin Lily for that also what else i was gonna say Shout out to y'all for purchasing my do-it-yourself credit repair kits. They are just $5. If you have bad credit, car repossession, hospital bills, utility bills, um, even evictions, it is possible to get them off of your credit report. I'm not 100% guaranteeing that they will come off, but I have seen so many changes. I'll say at least 90, 90 probably 99% of the time, my clients, after they do the work, because it's do it yourself, I'm not doing it for you, you're doing it yourself, they see drastic changes in their credit. And then I've had 23 of my clients buy houses using my do it yourself credit repair kits. Even local realtors in Tampa, they use my do it yourself credit repair kits to assist their clients with repairing their credit and buying houses. So they selling houses, thanks to you, girl. Um, that's real easy. When you get it, you're gonna be like, This it is so easy, so simple, and it only costs you five dollars y'all just five dollars and you can repair your own credit like a boss you can go ahead back to opening bank accounts um back to getting apartments in your name back to getting credit cards with low interest rates all that good stuff baby you want to buy a house you it's possible and a lot of people some of y'all be trying to hate like oh you could just look on google x y and z don't try to hate on me baby don't don't do that don't try to hate on me my do-it-yourself credit repair kit is going to help you. You ain't going to have to look on Google. It's going to give you all the steps you need. It's easy to follow, very easy. And it's only $5. You spend $5 when you at McDonald's and KFC. And you spend more than that at Chick-fil-A. Invest, five, and five, invest 
five dollars and to learn how to repair your credit like a pro you can repair your credit your mama credit your boyfriend credit you can start helping everybody in your family out i even had people start credit repair businesses using my credit repair kit i don't personally repair credit because i don't have the time it's very time consuming i just purchased mine thank you for your business when i get off of um youtube i'm gonna send out the remainder of my credit repair kit so thank y'all so much y'all been showing out thank y'all for purchasing waist waist trains from me and all the jazz i think i got one more package to open i do this oops i hope i show the address i didn't this is my last package to open it's hard it's like a tray i'm like is this a rolling tray because i don't smoke no weed i know rolling trays is real pop excuse me popular right now but your girl don't smoke i don't smoke and i don't drink Purchase mine is great information, guys. Thank you. So, boop, 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 boop. Oh, let me open it for y'all. Y'all know y'all nosy nosy. Y'all is nosy nosy. Y'all know it nosy nosy. Y'all know that little boost on. I like them nasty nasty. I like them nasty. Y'all is nosy nosy. You so nosy nosy. You know you nosy. <laughs> yeah, you nosy. All right. I got a tray. And I got a card. It says, let me open up the card because I don't know what this is. They say, Peach, we going to the casino. Ow. If I'm back good with them, y'all know I'm beefing with Hard Rock because they won't let me record. They'll only let me record eating. They won't let me record gambling. So I'm beefing with them. Peach, we're going to read the card first. I hear daddy listening to my video. Alrighty. Let's go. Alright, let's pull this out because y'all know. Yeah, shop www.waysogorgeous.com. We finna open this soon. Make sure it's not private. This is from Creations by D. The products we offer are graduation toppers, baby showers, party planning, custom planning, and so much more. Shout out to the person who just purchased a credit repair kit from me. Thank you, girl. You was going to be on the road to have a good credit. It says, thank you. And then now we're going to open up this letter. All right. She says, hi, Peach. My name is Daniqua. I hope I said it right. I have a small crafting business, business called Creations by D. I have been crafting for many years. However, during the early part of this pandemic, I pushed myself and set a goal to start my small business. Good job. She said, I'm so glad that I did. I have created you a custom homemade makeup tray. Ooh, what's your favorite quote? Ooh, I didn't even notice none of that. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, because I ain't open it. I'm so slow. First of all, I don't wear makeup, so I thought this was a rolling tray. I'll be seeing people rolling blunts and stuff on trays so that's what i thought it was but i'm thinking that this was the tray like it was pink with polka dots but it's something custom so we're gonna open this up for y'all in a minute let me finish the letter it says i want to say that my family and i absolutely love your youtube channel especially my two-year-old daughter she runs <laughs> around the house saying what's up what's up what's up <laughs> a few weeks ago i watched one of your videos when you were venting sending it Sitting in your car and so much of what you said resonated with me. Your message was so heartfelt and real. You are so inspiring and thanks for being so transparent and just keep being you in your videos. Your energy and vibes are so amazing. Just watching your channel gives me the push I need to someday start my own channel. Thank you so much for being you. I hope you enjoy your day. Creations by D. Be creative, be inspired, and be you. That is her slogan. So the business name is Creations by D and her slogan is be creative, be inspired and be you. Her website is www.creations and it's spelled with a C. C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N by B-Y D-D-E-E -E dot net. Her Instagram is also Creations by D and her Facebook is Creations with an 8. C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-S by D. Y'all check her out. Let's go ahead and unwrap my last gift. Charger. Okay. Daddy is editing videos for me. <laughs> so for those of you who are at home wondering like, okay, Peach pushing out these videos. Daddy is helping me. Now he wasn't helping me if you watch some other videos. Y'all like behind. The stuff y'all see, we be done already did it. <laughs> for y'all who be like, oh, this and this. By the time you, you write your little opinion, especially the negative opinions that think I'ma leave them. By the time you write your opinion, we've been on work through that. It don't do nothing to us. All right, we're pulling it out. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on. They said, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you make this? African queen. Are you creations, body? I want to open it all neatly for y'all. I'm a bad gift opener. They said, get me the 500 like likes. We only 20 like likes away from 500. Let's go ahead and do it. Y'all ready? Okay. Go light, 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 light. Let's go. <laughs> Daddy like, girl, you getting on my nerves. Okay, you like my videos? Hit a like a like. I'm messing up the song. Babe, I'm on live. You coming in here bothering me about the editing while I'm on live. You, you play hating on me? Oh my God. He play hating on me. <laughs> it's the y'all team. Yeah, we a team. Even when, with um my waist training business. Ooh. I don't think y'all ready for this. But you ready? Daddy. Daddy, is you ready? Is you ready, Freddy? Ooh, daddy. Ooh, daddy. Ooh, daddy. Ooh, ooh daddy. Ooh, daddy. Ooh. He ain't paying me no attention. He just put his head down like, girl, this thing's fire. This thing fire. So y'all want me to wear makeup. Okay. Y'all want me to do my hair, wear jewelry, carry Michael Kors purses, and wear makeup. I got it. I got it. I think I got this. Okay. You ready? Drum roll, please. Girl, that's a knock. That's a nigga knock. Hold on. Drum roll, please. Shout out to whoever just purchased the credit repair kit. I feel like I missed the super chat. Oh my God, did I? I got all this super chat stuff. I don't miss some of my super chats. Shout out to everybody who super chat me. I'm sorry if I miss you. Y'all ready to turn that thing around? Bam! She showed out, didn't she? A makeup tray. Child, y'all expensive these days. It says she believes she could, so she did. Y'all know this is the slogan that I'm currently living by. Anything you think in your mind that you can do, you will do, okay? Anything you think in your mind that you can do, you will do. Oh, it's cutie. Thank you, Miss Cutie. I'm going to say that as soon as I get off live. Um, I live by this slogan, though. Get into it. It goes back to how I started this video. That's how I overcame depression. Just the mindset change. If you're thinking you're a shitty person, guess what? You're a shitty person. If you think don't nobody love you, you don't deserve love, guess what? You ain't going to get no love. If you think your kid's bad as fuck, they get on your nerves, etc. You're going to have some bad kids, okay? And they're going to continue to get on your nerves. You have to change your mindset. You have to start thinking about positive things. You have to start manifesting good over your life. Everybody is manifesting. We are manifesting. Everybody on this earth is manifesting. Yes, you sus. You already manifesting. It's just that some of y'all are manifesting the wrong things. Some of y'all are manifesting negativity into your life. Some of y'all only speak negative. Y'all look at life so negative. All y'all do all day is point out the negative in others and the negative in yourself. That's why you're giving out so much negative energy, right? You know, so much negative energy because that's all you look at. You know how they say, you can look at the glass. You can look at this cup half empty or half full. It's all about mindset. It's the one I just want to drink. That's how I did that because I was thirsty. Daddy said, you know you sure can talk. I can too and I love ice. But it's all about mindset, y'all. Y'all have to change y'all mindset. Somebody got really, really upset when I said this, but I'm going to say it again. I sure am. Depression is a choice. <clears throat> I said it. It's a choice. You can choose to let your past hinder you. You can choose to let... Oh, I'm going to put this on this tray. This is going to look too cute. Boom, 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 boom. You can choose to let it hinder you. You can sit there all day and just be sad and miserable. I've done it. That's why I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this from love. I'm not telling you this from a place of me being mean and nasty. And it also came with care instructions, y'all. So check them out. I'm telling y'all this with love. I'm not telling you this to make you feel bad about yourself. I'm not telling you this to make you hate yourself. I'm not telling you this because I think I'm better than you. No, I think that, not think, I know that I've been where you may be. I've been to my lowest. I've had suicidal thoughts. I've been homeless. I've been with nothing. I felt unloved. I've been all of those things. But once I decided that I didn't want to be any of those things anymore and I wanted happiness, I decided that in my mind and I made that switch. And every day I'm constantly reminding myself, you could be happy. You deserve good shit. When good shit happening like this, it ain't no, why are people sending me this? Y'all need to stop. It's like, no, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Thank you. Because I deserve it. That's how you got to be. 
You deserve nothing but happiness. You deserve nothing but good stuff. Daddy looking at me with a stank face like, girl, come on. I, got, I need help editing this last little bit of the video. We finna drop family karaoke night. I'm not getting monetized on that video because they was playing some ghetto ratchet music and stuff. And, you know, it was other people's music. So I'm not getting monetized. So enjoy that video. It's commercial free. Watch it all the way through. I think it's hilarious. I feel like my family was still play hating on me even when I was editing. I was like, look, this player hating on me. They gonna dance to my song, Horn and Going. Y'all gonna see that? But the only reason they danced to Horn and Going was because they was on Horn and Going. I ain't lying. They looking like, you just extra. I ain't lying. That's how I feel in my feelings. You know, I get in my feelings out that hand out. I get in my feelings when I'm editing. I get in my feelings when I'm editing. Hold on. Let me see what daddy wants. I'm gonna come right back. Hold on. What's up, babe? <laughs> All right, I just had to talk to daddy in private one second. It said, I understand that's how you handle it. It's your choice, but there's a chemical imbalance that also causes depression and anxiety. It may be, but I'm just telling y'all what I think. I'm going to continue to say that because somebody might still overcome just with what I'm telling them. It could be a chemical imbalance, but it might be somebody that might just overcome their depression without any medication just about what I'm telling them. With me telling them, hey, it's a mindset. Change your mindset. Change your life. I just truly believe that. Now, I'm not saying it'll work for everybody. That worked for me, and it may work for some of y'all. Y'all understand? Let me see. But some people get mad when I say that. They say that depression is a choice. I ain't trying to argue with y'all. Listen, I know I'm not no um psycho so psychologist, and I ain't go to school for depression. But I have lived through depression. Everybody's situation is going to be different. That's just like when people get um, molested. Some people might not ever get over it and just talk about it for the rest of their life and be a victim. Some people overcome it and they help others get through it and tell them that life still goes on and they're still successful. It's It's got to be some choice in that. I'm not trying to offend y'all, but that's just my logic. So when it comes to depression, that's how I feel. I feel like some people you might need medicine. Some people might not. My son, choice with autism, he does not take any medicine for autism. He know how to talk. Um, he's potty trained now. Some people have to put their kids on medication because that's the best way that they know how to cope. And it's nothing wrong with it. We all live different. I just want to give you a different outlook. I just want to give you somebody who has went through depression, went through homelessness, went through a bad relationship, went through life. I've experienced life. The highs and the lows. Had a lot of money, went broke. Like been depressed depressed with nothing can't get out of bed can't clean up can't cook nothing and i overcame it by listening to positive mindset videos i overcame it by watching other mothers like me black mothers go and get up every day and send their kids to school go and cook a dinner cook a breakfast and that just gave me the strength i needed to go on and i know that that works because i get letters from people that message me the same i get inboxes from people like hey i was depressed or hey i was talking to my daughter any kind of way and i didn't even realize it until you said it and now me and my daughter we're working on our relationship she's happier i'm feeling like a better mom like everybody is different so when i say depression is a choice that's my opinion that's not a fact that's my opinion if you feel like you need depression medication i'm not bashing you or judging you i'm just speaking from my perspective and letting other people know um that there are other ways you don't always got to run to get medicine. Sometimes you might just need to talk with somebody. Sometimes you just need to know that it's okay. I remember when I wanted to isolate myself from my family, like in the black community, not talking to your family is taboo. Like we don't do it. People get mad when I talk about black and white, they get mad, but I'm just going to be honest with y'all. That's how I was raised. And I was raised around black people and all that stuff. And we, where I'm from, it's really segregated. And people say black people, white people, the black folk, the white folk, like we talk like that. So if you don't like it, if you get offended, if you feel like it's racist, oh well. I'm I'm one of those people. I'm an oh well kind of person. Like, oh well, it's not, you don't agree, you don't like the way I speak, don't watch. Because I'm going to keep being myself. I miss when people used to be themselves publicly. Instead of themselves privately and then publicly they something else. I'm going to give you the same every time. Um, But I just remember like when I wanted to isolate myself from my family and I was feeling like my family was toxic and my feelings was getting hurt, etc., 
And I would get on blogs and stuff and it would be all white people. It wouldn't be even groups. It would be all white people in the group. And I'm like, dang, like I felt more isolated. Like I can't not talk to my family. And then I finally seen a black girl on YouTube talking about what she was going through. And it was so similar to my story. And it made me feel like it's okay for me to make this, the decision I was making. And when I read the comments, all the people in the comments, like black people, like, oh my God, my mama the same. And it was like, dang, so I'm not alone with this feeling. So that's why I like to give this narrative. Because sometimes we just feel so alone and we be trapped. Sometimes we're trapped mentally in our own mind. Ain't nobody doing nothing to you. Um, it's just you and your own mind causing chaos. Because you're thinking about what other people going to say. Uh, how other people going to feel instead of how you going to feel. If you can't be yourself, then who can you be? Today, in today's world, a lot of people not themselves. A lot of people are trying to um, be everybody else. Sometimes people are trying to be everybody else. They're trying to please everybody else. I know my content not gonna... Like, everybody might not like it. And that's okay. I know I'm okay with never getting a sponsorship. Like, at this point, I feel like I might not ever get a sponsorship. And I'm okay with that. I've been said that a, a, a couple of vlogs back, a couple of thousand subbies back. I said, you know what? I don't care. If I never get a sponsorship, it's not meant for me. Daddy was telling me about my image. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do this to get your, get a sponsorship. I said, you know what? I'm tired of making other people rich. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to create my own businesses and I'm going to be a millionaire and I ain't going to need no sponsorship. Like, you know that that's possible, right? I know that it's possible. You don't have to get a sponsorship. Ain't nobody want to work with me because of my demeanor, my take on life, my um, saying black, saying white, saying this, saying that. My Me being my true self, I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. I'm going to be okay because the peach patch that love me, y'all have been supporting me in other ways. Y'all been buying my books. Y'all been buying my credit repair kits. Y'all been buying my waist trainers. And I appreciate y'all. Yeah, shopwaistsogorgeous.com. I appreciate y'all for all of that stuff, guys. Y'all ain't got to do it, but y'all do do it. And y'all making my life 100% better. And I'm hoping that I'm making your life better too. I'm, I love when y'all tell me that. Oh my God, you inspire me. Like how this card was. You know how she like, I started my own YouTube channel. You inspired me so much. Love that. It. Like, I love seeing that. I want more black women to do YouTube channels and make income so they can take care of their family and get off government assistance and stuff like that. Just like me. I want more um, black women to be more supportive. When you look on YouTube, there's a lot of white YouTube women doing the same thing that we're doing. But when you look at their comments, they're filled with love and encouragement and support versus the black women that's doing these things. Y'all always looking for something negative in them. Y'all always trying to judge them and set them down. I wish y'all would give more hand ups. I wish y'all would act more out of love. Now, I'm going to say with my channel, a lot of y'all do act more out of love. I still get craziness, but I don't even sweat it no more. It was a time where I used to sweat it, but I told y'all daddy been helping me a lot with my emotions. Like... He been helping me a lot. So it's like a lot of stuff that used to bother me that could bother me. It don't bother me no more. And then the fact that y'all so behind now with my videos. It's like when y'all do watch a video and pass a judgment. We've been on work through the situation already. So it's kind of like it don't even affect me at all. Because me and him already had the discussion. Or even in the editing process. Like daddy, I always tell daddy, he always leaving me. You always walking ahead of me. You always leaving me. I always say that. Even before YouTube, I always say that. And he never agreed. And then when he was editing a video recently, he was like, dang, I ain't even noticed. Like, I really do be walking ahead of y'all, but I don't be trying to leave you. I just be trying to get to where I'm going. Like, I don't be having time for all that stopping. Y'all just need to come home. And then somebody commented, they was like, daddy not leaving you. He's leading the family. Like, he's leading the way. So it's just like... We been already worked through it, and it's helping us see things from different perspectives. Even myself, I read almost all my comments. I stopped for a little bit because I had to get my mental right, but I'm back to reading all my comments. And Daddy helped me a lot, but y'all helped me too. When y'all point out different things, like, hey, I don't think it's this. I think you just this, or I think it's this. I consider what you're saying, and I get to look at life from different perspectives because sometimes we only look at things from our perspectives and we can never see another person's point of view that's all i'm saying let me see i want to read in y'all chat they said peaches don't change your vlogging with all the extra editing and clickbaits like these youtubers they doing what they got to do to support their families and youtube is a job can y'all please stop telling youtubers to get a job like 
YouTube is a good job. It's a good, it's a business. It's not even a job. It's a business. It's a good business. And that's the part I'm going to show y'all eventually. But I'm going to do first my webinar. I'm thinking my price point is going to be $150. I'm going to be like, $150 if you did that. Baby, you ain't ready. It's not for you. It's not for you. They say, you know, you have a season. If 150 too much for you, sis, it's not your season. It's not for you. But it's going to be $150. I'm going to teach y'all how to start YouTube channels, how to grow your YouTube channels, how you can earn money on YouTube channels. YouTube is very life-changing. I'm going to buy my house cash. Money, money, money. Thanks to YouTube, I am no longer on food stamps, wig, none of that. 100% self-sufficient. Shout out to y'all. Peach is a motivator. Oh, thank you. Peach book is on Amazon. Get out your feelings and get this money. Thanks to my cousin Lily. And I'm going to have my book in stock. Um, Not next week. The week after next. I'll have copies on hand. And I'm going to be sending out signed copies. Because a lot of y'all was asking me. They was like, I want your book. But I want to have a signed copy by you. They're going to be 25 On Amazon, they $19.99. And they ship them to you. The ones I'm going to have with my signed um, autograph is going to be 25 And I want y'all to know right now, like, I'm very business-minded. So, everything I do from day one, YouTube has always been for me to grow as a business. Like, YouTube is a business. People are becoming millionaires on YouTube. I want to reach millionaire. Not want to. I will. I will reach millionaire status on YouTube. Um... I know I'm going to get there. It might, I don't know when. I don't know when, but I know I'm going to get there. And I'm always looking for ways to earn more income. Because YouTube, we only get paid once a month. You know, check ain't hit yet. We, we get paid once a month. So you have to learn. If you are looking to start a YouTube channel or you already have a YouTube channel, you want to make sure you have some other streams of income because you will need to earn more money. Especially if you spend a lot of money or you got a lot of kids. You're going to need to earn more money with youtube like outside of youtube girl you is showing our reborn you gotta be rich girl she sent me a 20 dollar super chat thank you that's like your fourth super chat thank you girl what them baby dolls hitting for y'all shop with her she make videos that's who won my hundred dollar um hit a like like contest she is popping on tiktok if you got a tiktok follow her on tiktok get y'all baby dolls from her all those reborn dolls i might invest in one for gorgeous little hell of real baby doll they say, yes, they do some clickbait, smart screen, but catchy. I mean, they do what they got to do for their business. I've been blessed enough to not have to do stuff like that. H. Levine in the house. I love H. Levine. I'll be going off about you. I love you. Like, you would be my good Judy. Um, H. Levine be getting me together, baby. He won. It was 20. He won 20 on um, TikTok. As a runner-up, he has the hit a like it like with his dad jumping in the middle, shaking his butt. That was one of my favorites. Him, his sister, and his friend. That was one of my favorite hitter like he likes. So he won as a runner-up. I picked five runner-ups. I gave all of them $20 each. It's still two that have to send me their cash app names. They still didn't send it yet. Um, but I have their $20 whenever they're ready for it. I'm not rich. Don't go to asking me for no money, okay? I did that as a business investment. The whole idea behind doing the hitter like he like challenge on TikTok was on TikTok, I want to become an original sound creator. I love making up my own songs. I love making my own music. And I wanted... I want people on TikTok to start like using my sounds to do skits, using my sounds to do dances. So doing the Hit a Like It Like Challenge was to get my TikTok popping. It didn't pop like I would have wanted to, but a lot of people start, um, she said, yep, I, I, my son won 22. I loved your son video. That was my one of my favorites as well. He has so much energy and he's so t talented. And you can tell he got so much rhythm. So I loved his video as well. But um. And TikTok becoming like YouTube, they're going to start paying content creators and stuff. So, I'm going to try to start handling that platform as well, creating my own stuff. But, yeah, everything I've been doing, I'm trying to build a business. It's not, I'm not just doing YouTube just to vlog my life and be like, oh, I'm doing YouTube to vlog my life, teach y'all how to cook. Like, I already said my motto. It is to educate, entertain, and what was the other one? It was like elevate, motivate, something like that. Like, I'm doing all of those things. I want to educate y'all in different aspects. I want to entertain y'all. Y'all think I'm funny and stuff. I know I am. <laughs> That's the gag. And then I want to make sure we all elevate. We're going to elevate. Y'all going to watch me transition. Like, Rock Wave is my favorite rapper. And then one of his songs, we said, like, bitch, we grinding right now. We grinding. Like, y'all going to see us go from this to this. Like, I love Rock Wave. And just to watch him, he's from St. Pete, which is across the bridge in Tampa. He like 30 minutes away. Well, from 30 minutes away from where I'm from. First person in Tampa. 
Bay Area because they consider St. Pete, um, Clearwater, Tampa, all that to be Tampa Bay area. So the first person in Tampa Bay area to make it as big as he is. And he inspires me so much. I love his music and I'm going to do a song with him. I've been saying that for like two years. I'm going to do a song with Rod Wave. I'm going to do a song. With, you'll see. I'm going to do a song with Rod Wave. Okay. But that's how I want to be. I want to show y'all like me going from being on food stamps and welfare, not welfare, on food stamps and WIC to being 100% self-sufficient, buying my house cash, having my businesses thriving, and me being happy wholeheartedly. And I've always told y'all, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, if I ever feel like YouTube is too much and I can't do it mentally, I'm going to leave. Even like how I had to just not look at comments for like a week. I'll do that for my mental health. Mental health is definitely important. Make sure you're taking care of your mental health at home. Making sure like if something bothering you, you can take a break from it. It's okay. You can't clock out of motherhood, unfortunately. I know sometimes we need a breaky break with that. But if you can't clock out of being a mom, just make sure you spend some time on yourself and just try to change your mind. Like, a lot of y'all stuck at home with y'all kids all day, and I know that's so... I know that's so... I've been there. Uh, I'm telling y'all, me and daddy was broke up, and he was out here single in these streets, honey. Ooh, and I felt like I was stuck with them kids. Until I changed my mind... To feeling like my kids are a gift and I'm so pleased to be with them. And I start going out to places by myself. We start going to the zoo by ourselves without daddy. Like he was taking them places by himself. I was taking them places by myself. And I just learned so much about being alone and what I was capable of. Thought Stuff I thought I never could do, I start doing. So y'all will be okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yep, yeah, with this remote learning. Stop thinking that you're stuck though. Like stuck is a negative word. Stuck is like you can't. You can't free yourself like you just like oh like it's a negative word. Stop thinking you stuck and be like, I'm happy. I'm spending time with my kids. I'm growing with my kids. I'm homeschooling my kids. Like make it a positive with your word, and then make it a positive in your mind, and look at it from a positive point of view, and you'll start to feel better. That's what I had to do with a lot of stuff in my life. I just had to look at it differently. Like even when I was in the shelter, I was only in the shelter for three weeks, y'all. Like. And that's like unheard of. I was in the shelter for three weeks. I got my mind right. I knew what, when I went in the shelter, I knew exactly what I wanted out of the, I knew my goals, like, and I was going like this. It was people in the shelter, like, for months, like, been there for months, still ain't got nothing. Like, I knew exactly what I wanted. It was a nice break. I ain't gonna lie, it was a nice break for, like, the first three nights. It was, like, a nice mental break. Ooh, Louisa, Louisa. But after that, I was like, girl, what is you doing? You like, you better than this. You like capable more than this. Your kids deserve more than this. And I just, I started grinding. And since then, I haven't stopped. Shout out to somebody else just purchased a credit repair kit. That's one of my Facebook friends. Shout out to her. Um, Yes, I'm I'm selling waist trainers on my website. Waistsogorgeous.com, y'all. Waist so gorgeous. This is a steel bone corset. It has 24 bonus in it. It has strings, adjustable strings in the back. I highly recommend these. We have them in stock from sizes extra small, small, um, two, not 2X. I only got a couple of 2X. I ain't even putting them in there because I don't want them to sell out that fast. We got 3X, 4X, 5X, and 6X. It says, life too short, love every moment with my son. He's six months and we've still never been apart. See, but he's six months. <laughs> he's six months. So when, when they six months and they babies and it's only one, you could really like enjoy them, but when you start having multiple kids and you going through pain yourself mentally, it get a little complex. But I'm happy you enjoying your babies. Keep it like that. Keep it like that. You can keep it positive. A lot of time as women though, we be heart broke. Like I don't know no woman that wanna be a single mom. I don't know no woman except like if they went to a sperm donor. Other than that, you wanted your relationship to work. You wanted it to be a family. So when y'all break up, you dealing with heartache. And you still have to deal with motherhood. Like, you don't get no break. Like, dudes be having it easy. Not all dudes, because I know some single dads. But dudes typically have it easier. They could, like, break up, go date, go to the club, go eat. They could eat when they want, sleep when they want, poop when they want, party when they want. Do whatever they want to do. Versus women, when we break up and we have children, you have to be there for the child 
24 7 especially if they're not in daycare and then when they go to school you have to adjust your whole life around them you got to work when they're in school sleep when they're in school or cook when they're in school you got to adjust your whole life so psychologically that could kind of fuck with you like i know for me it was a big deal about that like i was so mad like daddy is very helpful when daddy around like he helped he changed diapers he cooked he cleaned he helps so without that extra help it was like damn like I was real upset. I was, I was, ooh, I was real upset about that. Um, but I thought our relationship was over. I'm not gonna discuss that in depth. But at that moment, I thought like we both thought that like we finally like done, done. This is not gonna work. Do you have all your kids in the shelter? I've heard shelters were bad. Yes, I have all. I had all my kids in the shelter with me. I actually recorded while I was in the shelter. I was actually working on YouTube when I was in the shelter, but I just never released that footage. I decided that I'm not going to release my shelter footage until I'm successful, like, where I want to be. Until I have my house cash and all that, then I can make a video and showing y'all, like, this is where I was. This is how my kids were sleeping. So, this is where I am now. Um, Because I'm not where I want to be yet. But I did. We I met Daddy in high school. We went to the same high school. Me and him been together since I was 16. So, we met in high school. Through one of my friends, my friend Samantha, she told me Daddy liked me. And I wrote him a note. I told y'all this story before. I wrote him a note. It said, I had an I. I see you looking at me. Might as well call me. And real small, I had my phone number. And daddy called me. And he was like, he called me that night. And he was like, so when you want to fuck? I was like, what? I am a virgin. And I really was a virgin. And he was like, you writing niggas letters like you want to call you. Like you want to fuck. Hoes only do this when they want to fuck. He was just like very disrespectful. And I was just like, you is so disrespectful. And I cussed him out. And I was like, and after that, we just. Talk every day and I cussed them out every day. Like it was crazy. We so opposite. You should show it because people have no clue. Housing crisis is real. I'm not showing that. Listen, I don't care what you want to see. I'm going to show it when I want to. This is the thing that a lot of people got to get a hold of. You have to take control of your life. You have to do what you feel comfortable doing. Like I'm comfortable right now in this moment talking about this. When people go to making comments about it, I might not feel comfortable. Um, but I know I'm not ready yet to show that because I'm not where I want to be. I had that conversation with myself. I had that conversation with God. And that's what was laid on my heart to show it when I get ready, when I'm at a level of where I want to be. I could talk to you about it. You know, if a person come to me like, hey, I got a da 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 da, I can get them tips. It's other people who already got shelter videos. They can go watch them. So it's like, I'm not going to do nothing until I feel like it. So that's what a lot of y'all got to learn. Y'all got to learn to not, especially YouTubers. Just because a person want to see something, don't, that don't mean you got to show it. Even, you might even make a video, right? You already ain't want to make, but so many people ask you to make it. And then you go make the video and then you only get 300 views. And then it's like, it was worth it. Worthless. Like, no, I'm I'm doing what I feel like I want to do. I love the one, so I know. So why don't you show your shelter video footage? Why you won't talk about you being in the shelter on your channel? <laughs> Probably like, girl, peach. But no, seriously, y'all, y'all got to... I do what I want to do when I feel like it. That's just how I'm living right now. Peach, will you ever do a video about how well YouTube pays you or would you only be... That would only be in like a seminar or something. But even then, I won't, won't disclose the amount. I prayed about that. I was going to do a my first YouTube check. I got footage of that too. But I just prayed about it and I just don't want to... I don't want people to think I'm bragging. I don't want people to um be so envious. Like People have envious spirits. I don't want people's spirit to turn into envy and all this stuff. I just want y'all to know, like, I am 100% self-sufficient. I am making money on this platform, and I am great grateful for it. And I pray I never need food stamps or WIC or anything like that again. But if I ever do, <laughs> please believe I won't be ashamed to go get it get it again. I've already been down that road, but we trying to never need it again. Don't, so there's no need to see your money. I'm not. I've done that before. I got a video on YouTube. Um, y'all can look it up if you haven't seen it already. Hey, Miss Cheryl, I love that new profile picture. Um, but I have a video about how I make twenty seven thousand dollars in one day, and people went nuts on that video. They like first they want to get no views. I thought that that's why I did it. I thought that video would get me a lot of views. I'm speaking from experience. When I tell y'all, sometimes you make a video and want nobody to look at it. So that video didn't get no views. I thought I was going to get all the views I need to get my watch time hours, but no, it didn't. But later on, it ended up getting views after people started hating on my food stamp video. They started watching that, like, we're going to call the IRS on you. We're going to do this. You're going to do that. You? And I still left the video up because I paid my taxes. Ha! <laughs> how about that? Um, But that video, I talked about how I made $27,000 in one day. Like, I've 
made an abundance of money but my mind wasn't right even then even then i was going through depression and stuff like that i didn't really just talk about that part of my life because i'm comfortable talking about it in pieces i'm not ready to sit down and just have an aliana fix my life kind of moment it's like no i gotta do it when i get ready when i know that i can handle what comes with it a lot of times we do things and we don't think about it coming back we put something in the universe and we don't think about what might come back at us so i've learned to just wait to like i know like oh they might say this 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 and i can handle it like you go boom 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 and i'm gonna still be like still stand versus when you put things out prematurely people say the things that you thought they want to say and you can't handle it. you ball up like a baby look at my mama video i thought i was ready to talk about that and then i did it and i couldn't handle the reactions and i had to make that video private for my own sanity so i'm no longer doing things off of emotion i try to do it off of logic and when i'm ready who birthday it is well happy birthday to the peaches who got the birthday and says my granddaughter wants to start youtubing but i think she's scared she's nine and i already got her a camera Excuse me. I mean, that's the kid channel is different, but it's worth it. They say you are so bold, though. You have greatness inside of you. Please believe you can still do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I believe that. I know that I can. It's just about you being able to handle the reaction. A lot of people not able to handle reactions. That's why a lot of people depressed. I keep telling y'all that a lot of people depressed because of what other people saying about them. I've been there. I've been there. Uh, people just judging you, judging you, judging you. Da, 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 da. And then you know that this is not true. But they keep saying it so you start to believe it. And once you believe it, you become it. And I'm not trying to be like that. I want to be able, when I talk about something, I want to be so over it and so strong from it that when I talk about it, it don't affect me. It don't affect me. When you make your opinion, it don't affect me because I am so strong and firm in my belief of what happened. I'm so strong and so in tune with my feelings that it don't you can't move my feelings. Like that's how I'm trying to be. When I get when I get ready to do stuff, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be so into into my moment. Like I just told y'all, the stuff y'all saying about me and daddy dating all that, we we been did that. We done went on our date. Uh, even if, um Aquatica. Y'all watch my Aquatica video and y'all saying stuff about daddy and my relationship and this and this. It's like me and daddy done already edited that video together. We done already talked through our issues. He in the editing videos for me right now. Like we already passed that. So it's nothing you can say to make me move. That's even like with my old lifestyle. Like it's nothing you could say. I'm steadfast. Like you know how they say steadfast unto the Lord. That means you don't move. Like you can't move me. And I know it's certain aspects in my life where I don't went through things and the wrong, I put it out now when I'm not strong, I can't stay it fast. I can't hold on to it. You might do something or say something and it's going to just take me down. I'm going to crash and hit the ground and fall back into depression. And I'm not going to do that until I get ready. I got, I got to know that mentally, mentally I'm ready for this. I got to know that. And if I don't know that, I can't do it. I know who I am because I know who I am. Right. Facts. Keep strong and God will lead, the, lead you the right way. Amen. And I pray a lot now, y'all. I pray. I pray. I just pray a lot. <laughs> I be praying about everything. I be praying about everything. God, like, help me with my kids. God, help me with myself. God, give me the strength to make it through this day, Lord, without breaking down. God, like, I just, I pray. I pray so much. I meditate. I write. I just, I just try to stay sane. Your mind is the most valuable thing on your body is your mind your mind can take you places like it can take you high it can take you to the sky your mind can also take you to the dirt like to the ground where you can't get up your mind you gotta you gotta have control of your own mind any of y'all at home watching this struggling with your mental health please gain control of your mind you can do it like you could do it. Don't let your mama control your mind, your baby daddy, your friends. Don't let people on social media control your mind. You control you. You control you. And steadfast, hold on to that. But I've been talking for so long. I got to go. I hope y'all having a good day. And if you like this video, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit her like you like. Hey, hit her like you like. Hit her like you like.